Hey everybody, so to return to the subject of a video which you may have recently seen, the one that was like, things are changing fast, I actually want to talk about this as its own video because as I was also and not entirely sure about it, it would seem that you guys are not entirely sure about it because basically I've had every opinion from one side to the other side to somewhere in between. The question was, one of my subscribers has to ride 100 miles a day, 500 miles a week, and he has a Ninja 300, and he was one, and he was, he says he's, he's using a lot of fuel, and he was saying basically, would he save money on fuel by getting a larger CC bike? Some people said, you know, small CC bikes always use less fuel than large CC bikes, but I think they're missing the point. I think if you have a 300 and you're sitting at 70, 75, 80 miles an hour on the motorway, I'm assuming the guy does most of the riding on the motorway, on a, on a small CC bike that's having to rev the absolute tits off of it, almost, I'm pretty sure that is actually going to use more fuel than a larger capacity bike running at lower uh, RPMs. Because, I mean, for instance, this bike, if I if I try, not, it's not hyper-miling, because, God, I don't think anyone should try and hyper-mile on a bike. That just, it just seems like such a contradictory thing, a bike about freedom and doing what you want, and then... And then you're like, hyper mile, never break. Although this could be for fun in that, I suppose. But whatever, whatever. The point is, can we actually get an answer on this? Because, I mean, like some people have said, well, my bike, for instance, the NC750, I think it was, was, was suggested so many times, saying it's like 70 miles to the gallon. I mean, yeah, that's, that's out of a bike. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this, I don't know. I've never looked. And to be honest with you, I know it, it's not too friendly on its fuel because of the way I ride it. Uh, and if I'm going long distance, if I sit, you know, if I sit above 70 odd, it starts drinking fuel at a, a noticeably increased rate. But that is partially because of the whole, you know, the faster you go, the more wind resistance you have, the more power you need, and it's an ex exponential increase. So you could reduce your speed by five miles an hour and maybe reduce your fuel usage to by 10%. It, it's not linear. So the question is not what bike has a better MPG, because the MPGs are the best case scenario uh, it doesn't take into account revving the balls out of a smaller cc bike to try and get it up to speed compared to the slow talky grunt of a say a 650 twin you see loads of car programs and car shows on the internet doing the hyper miling challenges you know like car throttle did it recently top gears done it loads of people have done it i've never seen someone try and hyper mile a bike i'm not sure that i've got the um the patience to do it but it would be interesting to know what sort of fuel savings could be had by some gentle acceleration minimal braking and, and and less of the beans less of the beans on that question like i said before i honestly don't know because as i say a small engine working really hard could quite possibly use more fuel than a large engine working very 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 gently and as I said, the answers that have come forth from the audience are only going to confuse this guy even more because, as I say, literally, you get some people saying, yes, it's definitely going to be the smaller bike. There's other people saying, no, it's definitely going to be the larger bike because of the things that I've mentioned. And there's been everyone in between. So, I don't know. I frankly don't think anyone knows. I mean, someone in there is right. We just don't know who. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.